Good evening. Let's take a part two of uh, uh, Ryan Dangler's uh, Hypocrisy on Max Bauer. This is a guy who said he was involved in pornography. I'm talking about uh, Brian Dangler. All of a sudden now, oh, he gave up He gave up cursing when he got saved. He didn't give up pornography. <laughs> this guy. He admitted that he's a fake. Yeah, why he's fake? What are you talking about? You mean he's a fake? He had to hold back. That's all. Because of the, uh, the format he's on. And other people, you know, he, was, he wouldn't tell exactly what he really thinks about uh, without, without Brian. But Brian just said himself that he can't preach as hard as he wants on YouTube and say the things he really wants to say. I'm sure about, for instance, racial act issues. Right? And he's admitted that. So it's no different. Verse 8. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land. Brian goes to these uh, scriptures like he understands them. This is a guy who thought, uh, doing my last video, Matthew 21, was dealing with the Father, coming back as a second advent to punish the Jews, and thinking he was the stone. You can't read. The stone is obviously the Lord Jesus Christ. He's always the stone. That I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. We shouldn't want to be around people that cuss. We shouldn't be want to be around people that are drunkards and tell dirty jokes and look at pornographic stuff and, and whatever, all, all, the, all the different things out there. Righteousness. You know, Paul says about that? He says, you shouldn't be around Christians who do that. But Paul nailed this guy right down to the, the wall. In 2 Corinthians, he says, he's not talking about the people in the world, though. See, Brian thinks you can judge the people in the world. You'll find that verse, second, I think it's second Corinthians uh, 7. Separation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, four, uh, five. I wrote unto you an epistle not to, not to accompany fornicators, yet not together with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous, or the extortion or extortioners, or with idolaters. For then must ye needs go out of the world. That's what Brian is saying. Yeah, we're supposed to separate from Christians to talk that way and act that way. But Brian has separated himself from the world. Brian thinks you, the Christian is supposed to judge the world. God says, God says the, the Christian is not to judge the world. God judges the world. We're supposed to judge, judge ourselves, Christian, uh, Christians. Um, I just don't see how people can continue to support that side over there. I do. I mean, I understand it's because you're lost. You don't have the Holy Spirit of God within you. See, that's it. Everything's, everyone's lost to him. If they don't agree with, Brian, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with him, then you're lost. When he's the one more likely lost, because he's a hermit. <laughs> He's like a monk in the old medieval times. So he thinks from a Catholicism. This is what the monks did. This is why they became monks. To hide out from the world, the temptations of the world. They didn't want to go win the world. They wanted to be pure. They wanted to keep they wanted to say keep a purity among themselves. He's hiding out. And you're looking for company, you know. Misery loves company. Well, lost people love company as well. You want to create a branch of Christianity in which you don't even have to talk to God to get saved. You talk to God because believe. God talks to us. Why don't you talk to God? God talks to you through the scriptures. Faith comes by healing, healing by the word of God. God is talking to you. You don't talk to God. You're supposed to believe. You save yourself by your own intellect. Your own save my intellect. So the faith. Belief. Yeah, own belief. Yeah, your faith. And the merit lies in the object of faith. So it's the object is depending on the Savior that has the merit, not you, not your faith. Yeah. You th he thinks he gets credit for asking to be saved. See, that's why it's a work salvation. He, he's getting credit for asking to be saved. He thinks, oh, if I ask God to be saved, I'm doing something. When faith, you're not doing anything. You're just believing. Trusting in the one who tells you he saved you. And you're trusting in that. You don't have to ask God to be saved. You just say, well, I believe it. I'm safe. I was saying, I believe it. Yeah. I believe in death, by the resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ, and I believe that he, I'm trusting he's my personal Savior. That's it. What am I asking God about? 
unbelievable what he told me. Boom. Boom, yeah. Doesn't matter what God has to say about it. God did say it, tell us about it. For what grace you save through faith, not of not of yourselves is a gift of God, not of works, so any man should lest any man should boast. You want to boast. That's what he does. Every every video he gets a chance, he boasts by asking. I want to say it. I'm just declaring myself saved because of my belief. Yeah, I'm declaring myself saved because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross for me. Not because I'm a belief. The belief has how I have access to the grace. I'm doing what God told me to do. Believe. God didn't tell me to ask. He told me to believe. I can go on living like the devil. And all these people do. We don't know how you live by it. But we know what a, what a lie you are on YouTube. We know you're a hermit and you know you're stealing people's money. Every single one of them. And it's funny, I come out with some videos too, by the way. The common sayings of lost people. And uh, the only group that attacked that whole thing was this Max Bauer and that circle. The circle of those people. All of a sudden they're doing videos refuting my videos. I didn't see Max Bauer videos up. I did a video on it. I did some videos on it. But Max Bow didn't do a video on it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. He doesn't know who did the videos. <laughs> That's out of his mind. Yeah, because they were jokes, Brian. You're a joke. You're a clown. Well, the common sayings are lost people. And it was all about you. People are people tell you that you're a hermit and you're a nut. And, you know, I, people keep me informed of stuff, you know, whatever I get. People. Well, you're so busy not doing anything, you know, working on his land, whatever. He doesn't know what's going on. He's supposed to have ministry. He doesn't know what's going on in his ministry. People have to tell him stuff. Max Bauer didn't make any videos on uh, on this issue. I made some. Have to make some more. Obviously, he's made up. He's always up to 11 now. You know, well, I go to church. He's going up there. Common sayings of lost people, number nine. Well, I go to church. He doesn't talk to lost people. <laughs> people write me and say, did you see this? Did you see that? I'm taking screenshots, emailing to me and things and whatever. I know what's going on. You know what's going on. Not because you're actually looking, but because people have to tell you. I know That's the only thing he has to do, people. He's a job. Remember that. 40-year-old man doesn't have a job. He has no church. But this is all he does. And he thinks this is he has the right to make money off this. Go on. See... You can keep playing your little... And by the way, Max Bow is asking for money. He said one thing, he's going to tell you where the money went. Brian doesn't tell you. Second thing was, is that money is for ministry efforts. Putting out Bibles. He's going to do stuff with his camera work and stuff like that. And he said, this is this, I'm going to use this uh, uh, for videos and stuff like that. He said straight up. Uh, and of course, he cut it out because he saw the hassle it was. It was a big pain. I think he still may have PayPal up on uh, a, a Patreon or something. But that's, uh, you know, he's telling you where the money's going. Brian doesn't tell you where the money's going. You know what he's doing with his money. Game. Keep pretending to be Christians. Bible believing Christians. Look at self righteous. Look at this guy. Just pretend to be Christians. Christians. But uh, you know, it's not about me. It's not about the friends of this ministry. Oh, everything's about you, Brian. Everything's about you. Because the whole world revolves on you. Uh, it's about you're dealing with the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's gonna put an end to your lying tongues. <laughs> this guy. See, he's going, going curses on us. And um, quite frankly, I think a lot of you are past the point of coming back um, to truth. I really do. I think you start to cross the line when you get to a point where you can just lie and lie and lie. You do, huh? <laughs> well, Brian, you're so far past that point. You know, it's, 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 it's eons ago. So go ahead. Keep, keep your lying. Keep keep it going. Name a lie. Name a lie. No one's lied. You're the one claiming to be a minister. You're not a minister. You're a phony. Talk about you talking to lost people. All the years, have you ever seen anybody here actually get a convert that he got on YouTube and said, "This is a man I, I talked to and witnessed to, and he's now a saved man." For Maine, no. The only time we saw him on YouTube was when he was complaining to another church, he was playing rock music, and he called the police on him. That's Brian Denwood. And uh, this, and that, that was that was his street preaching too. He's talking about his street preaching. He was yelling across the screaming across the street at him. Max Bauer guy, um, he disappeared after that whole video thing. There, I uh, have no idea what happened to him. With his criminal past, I think maybe he went out and got drunk again. He was in jail someplace or whatever else. I don't know. 
Well, it's none of your business. <laughs> so what do you worry about? It's none of your business. You say, don't you have some sympathy for him? No, actually, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have sympathy for you either. Be honest about it. Okay, you break any, uh, Max, don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what you think. Oh. Um, there are some people that uh, deserve my sympathy. No one cares about your sympathy, you bum. Um, I'm sympathetic towards people that uh, have never... That give him money. That's who keeps sympathetic to people, to give him money. Or heard the gospel presented. I'm sympathetic to uh, Catholics that have been raised in that system and they've never heard the gospel clearly presented to them. I'm trying to reach them. Not reaching anybody with anything. Give me a break. You have false gospel. Anybody says call upon the name of the Lord and put a sinner's prayer, has got a false gospel. Because calling upon the name of the Lord is not part of the gospel. Romans 10 is not the gospel. If it were, be, you'd find other places. But it's not. It's only one place. 10, Romans 10, 9, 10, and Romans 10, 13 show up in one place. Romans 10. So all the other things, all the other, other passages that Paul talks about faith alone, you got to ignore them. And not in on your prayers. I try to reach other secular people out there. You don't do anything but sit home, make videos. In your little house in Maine that someone else is paying for. Um, I'm very sympathetic to the lost world. You don't have a bone of sympathy. You don't have an ounce of charity in you. You're a lazy, no good, lying bum. But when I see people that know the truth and that just obsessively just binge watch everything I do and everything my friends on YouTube. Your friends? No, I mean, no kids what your friends do. I think I've heard anything back, you know, like JT does. And he's, I haven't heard anything from those guys. Do. And just. You, it's public ministry. Well, you worry about people binge watching. No one's binge watching you. Once in a while, I'll spend, some, I'll spend a few minutes on you. It's not binging, just to, just to uh, uh, counter your lies. Constantly, you're trying to undermine us and undermine us and undermine us and uh, undermine. You mean you mean tell the truth, teach the true gospel, uh, teach the true gospel. That's what he calls undermining. Make videos about everything we say. Uh, oh, I don't say that. I don't say that. Wait, they haven't done with you that much, that much at all. But put a video out. Expect, expect, uh, expect heat, especially when you're lying. Um, he's making constant videos on Anderson. He has no problems with that. I have no sympathy for you. You can burn in the fires of hell. For all of eternity, and I'll laugh right along with the Lord at you. I what does it say? The Lord's gonna be laughing. <laughs> he's gonna laugh, by the way. Oh, he is. What does it say that he's gonna mock when your fear comes? You can read Proverbs chapter one. Uh, that's not hell. Okay, that's not sending someone to a lake of fire. Talks about that. Uh, that's not the lake of fire. More proof you can't read. So, um, if you're out there and you're being deceived by Robert Breaker and this circle of, of people, uh, I'd get as far away from them as you can. Well, he's just past sentence on himself. Get far away from Brian Denver as far uh, as you can. Because the man's a nut. All right. Um, he's a lazy bum. Violation of Second uh, Thessalonians 3.10. He has no ministry. He lies about him going to lost people. He doesn't talk to lost people. No one knows what this guy is doing. He's a phony, a con man. And he can't read. He can't read the Bible for, you know, for, for anything. I've been in ministry a long time now. and I've uh, You've been in phony ministry for many years now. Scamming people. Saved a lot, you know, going farther back than that. I've been in Baptist churches and I've preached in pulpits. And Gee, fun, funny how this pornography didn't come up. We may have been in pornography how many years. That didn't come up. I wonder why. Oh, you know, he he got, he gave up cursing when he got saved. He didn't give that pornography up. Whatever else, I'm not a novice. Okay? You are a novice. You're a liar. You don't even know. You can't read English. You can't read an English Bible. You don't even know what the word Godhead means. That's how stupid you are. Uh, these people try to make me out to be some kind of novice. I'm not a novice. You're a novice. You're a moron. 
That's why you won't talk to any of us. If you ever talk to the Max, Max Bauer, you ever talk to Robert Blake, you ever talk to me, you get torn up. You ever talk to Jay, Philip, they kill you. They tear you up. They make a fool out of you. And almost all of them were followers of my ministry at one point in time. And friends, quote unquote, friends of the ministry. Yeah, when you're dealing with the King James Bible. When you know you're anti Trinitarian. He's upset about that. Oh, you turn out to be anti Trinitarian, and all of a sudden you wonder why people turn on you. Oh, I was always against the Trinity. If we knew, you think we'd be friends of your ministry if we knew you were anti Trinitarian? And it's the same guy who keeps up links to Trinitarian websites that are uh, King James Bible websites that are Trinitarian. Like Chick Tracks, like Dear Whippinger, uh, like uh, a Ruckman's uh, 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 bookstore. What a phony he is. Oh, we have supporters of ministry. Yeah. We thought you were, uh, you thought we thought you were sound doctrine. We didn't know. We didn't know. You deceived us. Then you come out, you're anti Trinitarian. Oh, I mean, the Trinity is really three, three parts. Oh, do you think we're going to stay with you after that? And then, of course, you lied about the issue of uh, worship salvation. The whole big thing on that now. And uh, all that. So, and then you changed. Anybody know Brian five years ago? We know he's a different guy than he was five years ago since his marriage. Anybody would, just, would tell you that. Go to your videos and see what different guy he is. Uh, but the Holy Spirit, through me, helped to prick them in some point, And all of a sudden, they just... Oh, he thinks, he thinks because he preached against sin. No, you went against doctrine. That's what lost you people's support. You went against, against you. You went against the uh, the Trinity. You went against faith alone. That's what uh, ter, uh, people started saying. Oh man, this guy's the Looney Tunes. They're gone. You changed your doctrinal positions. Oh, I was teach. I I I, I was using the same terminology as the Trinity, but I really didn't believe in the Trinity. He was deceiving Trinitarian two years. Go from a friend to an enemy, just like that. You did that. When you revealed yourself as being a phony, a liar, dealing with you, and you question eternal security, then you come back and say, "Why well, we don't believe that now? I believe it." You know, Romans eleven, maybe you lose your salvation. Romans at the, you know, Revelation twenty-two, and yeah, all these things. And uh, I've seen the way these people deal with things. And you uh, really? What do you see? You're from Maine. You've been sitting in Maine. What do you know? Um, I would recommend you get away from. Them. Yeah, go, go hide in Maine like he did. <laughs> okay. This is a guy who doesn't believe in the Trinity, people. This is a guy who thinks the father's coming back with the, the son because he's in his old son. He come, he's coming back. And you read uh, uh, Matthew 21, and that's where the, Jew, the Jews are being judged. They lose the kingdom of God. And he thinks that's part of what's going to happen on the, uh, the second advent. Jesus Christ has come back to save the Jews, not to punish him. But he can't figure it out. He's too stupid. And one of you people watching, all you little morons that follow this guy, tell him I said so. I think this guy is about the dumbest guy I've ever seen. I really do. And only ones but dumber than him are the people following him. You can disagree with me all you want to. Oh, I can disagree with you a lot. But the worst thing is you're a foul mouth liar. And you're and you're a punk. As Mac would say, you're a punk. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, it's fine. Well, God, thank you for giving us uh, permission to disagree with you, Brian. He, he's allowed to go after Anderson all he wants. He's allowed to go after Harmon when he wants. But when people argue against him, now he gives you permission. Just don't, you can't be obsessive about him. He's obsessive about Anderson. I hope that you open your Bible and read along when I'm preaching. Yeah, just because you read along with the Bible doesn't mean he's interpreting correctly. He didn't even interpret Matthew 21 correctly. He didn't take you to Isaiah chapter 5. We told you, explain what that proverb was talking that the power was talking about. Because that would mean he actually could teach the Bible. That's where that, that that's what the power was talking about in Isaiah chapter 5, the power of the vineyard. And the Lord took away the hedge, the protection. But uh, these people. Nothing but the second coming there, Matthew 21. They will mess you up. Yeah, there you go. These people, Brian Dangler, will mess you up for life. So that is going to be it. So he's, he's a little hermit sitting out in Maine, attacking people. And uh, he's cast curses on, curses on my me and my family.
Wait a minute, when he changed. You look at his early videos. You know, the early church videos. You look at him sitting there and sitting there and he's talking about And he admitted, oh yeah, I never really believe in the Trinity. I just use the terminology. And then he's not, oh, oh yeah, I don't believe in faith alone. He attacks faith alone. And then, you know, he just lies and lies and brings up the scriptures that have nothing to do with anything. And he holds up the Bible. He's got on his website, he still has connections to King James Bible Ministries, uh, uh, websites that are Trinitarian. Of course, Trinitarians pagans. Uh, and then he says, well, what be everybody's changed again, turning against me. Blah, 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 blah. You know. This guy, I've known the guy, you know, many, many, many years, I guess about 10 years he's been on, same time as me. I've never seen him go or other people's videos. One thing you can tell about a YouTube channel and how they are, they don't go to other channels and give them support. He never does that. He never did that. Now he's got his little cadre around him, of course, you know, who follow him. But before that, when there's a YouTube community, community out there and the King James Bible believes and stuff, we'd go to other people's videos and watch them. They had a great video, you know, and support the guy and, and uh, you know, recommend them and stuff like that. He never did that. He never did that. It was, about, it was always about Brian. So his whole thing is now attacking his followers. He's attacking any cares about you know, his followers. Uh, I deal with him basically as a joke now. He's cracking up. Anybody, anybody, anybody have a brain could see that. So I'm gonna stop with this up. Yeah, we welcome your comments. Many of you, uh, well, uh, you are Jeff Brian Dengler's followers. You know, he's 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 not a, a lousy liar. He's sitting out in a main in, uh, in, in uh, as a hermit in Maine, not doing anything for the Lord. He's lying. I mean, if he's putting up truth on his YouTube videos, I say fine, okay. He's putting YouTube, at least putting up truth. He can't, he's not putting up truth. Guy doesn't figure out, can't figure out the second advent's about. Oh, his father's gonna come back with the son. Hmm. Oh, oh, wow. Look at him. And he's the stone. His father's the stone. And he goes to Psalm 118. And look, he calls him Lord. The God, the Father is Lord. And he's a halfwit. The stone is always the son. And then he gets an analogy. He says, Yeah, the father said, I better send my son there to take care of that business. Oh, another person. Another <laughs> person. He can't figure that out. Oh, he said, he said, I'll send my body. I'll send my body to take care of her. Actually, it's me. I'm going. It's, my, it's, my, it's me and me, go, me going. But I, I'm going to say it's my son. That's how insane you are. You, know, you, 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 know, you a modalist are. That's how insane you are. No, you modalist. Well, it's really, it's God just manifests himself in three ways, you know. But they talk to each other as persons. That's just a fool us or something. <laughs> He's only kidding. He's only, it's really one person. But he talks to each other back and forth. And he talks about how they should love each other back and forth, how well pleased they are back and forth. But he's very well pleased with himself. So the father says, I'm well, this is my beloved son, well, I'm well, well, uh, well pleased. He's really talking about himself. The father says, I'm well pleased with myself. Of course, God can say that. It would be legitimate. But he was talking about another person. So I'm going to stop here and put this up. Amen. Thank you.